Hello there everybody, same as Locos here, welcome back to the railway. Today I'll be doing a train set review. And that train set today is this, the Flying Scotsman. Of the train set, I mean. The coach is just down here, I'll just pick them up. I don't know if I can pick them up. You can see here the coaches are as well. Three, three lovely coaches. But first of all, let's focus on the actual locomotive. Now I've had this for about oh three to four years now so i'm quite eager to review it anyway let's find out what juicy juicy detail we have for us today and so here we have the blind scotsman up against the white background and as you can probably tell i can really already tell it looks railroad hormy railroad ish now it have, when i got the box it said hormy on it no no hormy railroad it didn't, it didn't just say Hornby Railroad Locomotive Hornby Coaches. No, it just said Hornby. So I'm wondering now, looking at the detail and the other locomotives like the Mallards, I think there might be both railroad versions. Which is okay, but they're quite cheap. That'll probably explain how much it was. I think it was like £250. I mean, it's £250 a locomotive. But £250 for the set, which is good, it's good, really good. Anyway, as you can tell, there's a very lot of white lining on the tender and along the engine. Now, as usual for this NER, I think it's in its 1928 version. Now, there was a 1923 version, but it only lasted three years. Because, uh, it's 1920... Six, it had the Fly Scotsman had a bit of a crash. Well, it railed after the coal miners decided to take off a bit of track, thinking that it was a coal train. Fortunately, it was a Flying Scotsman. Absolute idiots. Sometimes. Anyway, let's come up with detail. And I'm quite surprised there's not a lot of detail on here. There's not a lot of coloured parts, but there's a lot you can, you can just see how it's all structured. Now, there's no sprung buffers on this. Although there are metal buffers, which is fine, it's fine, it's better than, uh, well, it's better than plastic buffers, I have to say. But, um, as I said, there's a lot of lots. I mean, the, the coal is very good, there's no white splodges everywhere, which is good, and I have to say, it's quite, it's missing a buffer at the end for some reason. I don't know, I don't know where the buffer's gone, but it might have a bad accident, uh, Fell off. Ugh. Yeah, this locomotive is very good. I have to say, this nameplate here is definitely plastic. Because now, I think nowadays they're doing metal nameplates, which is quite nice. Anyway, I'll move on to the coaches. I've already do uh, one, one, I think it's a composite coach, and one brake van. So, no, not brake van, brake coach. That's the words there. Anyway, I'll show you. And so here are those two and the other coaches. Now that, there are three, as you can see, I've got an extra one here. But these are the two. I've just decided to choose. Now <laughs> this one and this one are probably exactly the same, apart from that they've got one different number, and that's this one's two two three five six, and this one's two two three five seven. So it's quite nice. And then obviously the brake coach is a completely different number, which is 4237. Now, as you can see, I've laid it out so you can actually tell which one is the brake coach, which one isn't. Now, as you can see, the detail is very good. It's got the sort of gold, goldy, yellowish, I'm not sure what colour that is, lining around each door and each window. And as you can actually, I think these are not really railroad. Although they do have plastic buffers, I think these are the probably this is all railroad probably. A railroad set. Hmm, nice. Anyway, as you can clearly see there's definitely first class and third class <sighs> compartments. As you can definitely tell by the ones and the threes. I'm not sure if you can see the threes, but hopefully you can. And the threes on the other side down the bottom of this coach. Anyway, I think it's about time we get these 
coaches tested out on the hill. I haven't done the hill test for some time. So let me go and set it up and I'll see how freewheeling these coaches are. Hopefully they are. Otherwise the flying Scotsman will struggle a lot. And so here we are at the hill and here we have the first composite coach which is two, two, three, five, six, not five, seven, just to show you. And so let me give this coach a nudge and see how far it goes. Pretty good. Now it's it's less. Well, it's it's gone. It's it's just probably a pretty good coach. I mean, it's it's gone quite far down the hill, but not as far as the mortal coaches, the southern coaches. I mean, mortal silver coaches. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. let me put the second composite coach on. First one was good. Hopefully, the second one, which is five five seven at the end, two two three five seven. Oh, she got it right this time. Wait. Anyway, let's see how far this one goes. Give it a nudge. It had a bit more momentum that time. I mean, it, it was it got a little bit faster than the other coach, but it's gone a little bit further, which is good. Now the brake coach should really be the heaviest because it's got the more detail. And the back on this bit. So really, it should go either the maybe the fastest, maybe the slowest. You never know. But really, they're all the same apart from this coach. Anyway, let's give this one a nudge as well. Mm. The, mm, I mean, I didn't give it. Might have given it a little bit more oomph, but. Uh, they all stop in the same about the same place, just just on or just after. Well, this one's just on it. The second radius curve. Anyway, I think it's time we get all these all this train set together, put on my layout, and see how well the fine Scotsman and its coaches does around the layout. Let's find out, shall we? And so here we are at the station, and with the two relatives. I say that because the tornado is Pine Scotsman's granddaughter in law, whatever. Ugh. So on, so on, so on. Anyway, I think it's time we get these two locomotives, tornado and the Fire Scotsman on the move. I'll do the Fire Scotsman first. And you'll be surprised how slow she goes at slow speeds. You'll be surprised. Well, she's much faster than J50, thankfully. Yeah. That's literally a slow. Uh, it's just crawling there. Wonderful. Anyway, I'll put it up to about fifty percent speed. And there we go. Hopefully, no derailments happen today. And this, I'm gonna get. This car I've just jinxed it now, haven't I? Oh no, I haven't this time. Anyway, and um, let's get tornado on the way as well. With her rate of Pullman coaches. I'll put it to 50% as well, just to keep it even. Anyway, enjoy this mini running session. At the moment, they're going really well. I mean, Tornado's very slow going around that corner. I think I have to speed her up a little bit. I mean, she's more of a express locomotive, they're both are. So, uh, yeah, I'll speed the Tornado up. I mean, the Flyers Cross is going at a perfect speed right now. I mean, I was going to put her to like full speed to see how far she would go, but I realised that uh, she's on a bit of a branch line, really. Got the inside of the branch line. Oh, and she's derailed. Then they go and fix her. So now I've got the tornado on a faster speed. I just noticed the flight cross just stopped for some reason. Saw that out in a minute. But she's going on more express speed right now. Hopefully she'll be okay. Because uh, she did derail for a minute ago. Now, I find out what's wrong with Fire Scotsman. I hope she hasn't died. Seems like she just got stuck. For some reason, now she got stuck again. Hang on, let me just give it a nudge. Come on. There we go. Yeah, for some reason, these locomotives do not like it. Do not mind you, Yeah. It's 
So always derails on, the, on that curve there. There goes tornado. Now, she looks smart in that. Those coaches. Yeah. Uh, I think they only are my third of my favourites railways. Then it's going to hang on fourth. Cutting me as well. And with that, I think that's what I've got time for today. Until the next time, I do another train set, but with the world's fastest steam locomotive. I think you can guess what that locomotive is. Now, Flying Scotsman, do not derail, otherwise, I will kill you. Thank you. Listen to me. Anyway, see you on the next video. Now, have a good rest of your day. Stay safe, folks.